Hi, welcome to the farm. Today we're going to be talking about a very good cost saving way if you're feeding hay and you have goat and sheep. So stay tuned. I'll show you how to save some money. Hey, welcome to the farm. So here is a cost effective measure that you can use that's going to make a big difference. I want to show you all two different ways that we feed. Historically, I fed this way, okay? So all the years in the past with my goat and my sheep, I fed a square bale at $5 a day. So every square bale weighs, or excuse me, costs about $5, okay? 30 day month, you're talking $150 a month, okay? Here in Alabama, Northwest Alabama, I start feeding around December 1st, and I have all of December, all of January, all of February, and part of March. So I'm looking at three and a half months. So 150, you're looking at about $500 in hay, okay? So that's doing this. Another thing that you have to think about when you're doing square bales is when it's raining or it's sleeting or it's icy and all of that, and you've got all that hay stacked up in the barn, you have to come out and bring it out here for the sheep. Okay, that gets old very quickly. You also have to store it. You also have to place to store it. That's what we've done for the last 15 years, the square bales, because I couldn't handle a round bale. Okay, so as you can see, the sheep love this. This is brand new, fresh out of the field. Okay, now what I do now, and I can't even take credit for this. This is a video that I saw on YouTube from another guy. But what I basically did was I copied what he did and I got a round bale. Now what I was told by the guy that I bought this, that this has 17 and a half of these in there. Okay, so I figured, okay, 17 and a half, that'll last me about 20 days if I'm lucky. This is my second round bale for the season. And this, for the first round bale that I had, we went 60 full days with it. Okay. Now I'm giving a little bit of all stock in the morning and a little bit in the evenings. Very little because it is lambing season. But 60 days, this round bale cost me $35. Okay, So I want you to do the figuring on that. If you're talking about $150 a month, that's $300 for 60 days with the square bales, hauling it in. I got one round bale that lasted me 60 days on 10 sheep. None of them starved to death. None of them were having any trouble. Okay. Now, as I said, I got the, I got this idea from another guy. I did put a 16 foot cattle panel around it because as he had mentioned, and you can see down here, they will eat sections of this out and then it'll fall. So what you want to do is put the cattle panel. But if you can see right here, the cattle panel does not go the full length. All I did in here was took a piece of my woven fence that I have and I just kind of wove it in here so that they couldn't get in. They will climb up in here and try and chew, okay? That's one thing. I've got nothing more than a belt on here, a ratchet strap holding it. Now, on the other video that I watched, the gentleman that had it, he had two by fours and he had some tin on top. Okay, it's windy today. I really don't want to be around a metal sail with it being windy. So if you live in a small area, as most of us people do on the farm, about every four years, somebody in your local community that's not qualified for some type of city council or school board or anything of that nature is going to run for a position and they are going to lose. So what do you do? You ask them for their political signs. This is one of the best investments you will ever have on a farm. They are waterproof, they're lightweight, and they're extremely easy to handle. So all I did was I had some one by fours, okay? That's all this is. And I did nothing more than just staple this on there and I cut it to size, okay? It's two pieces, okay? So this is four feet. I just took a four by eight, I cut it in half and I double lapped it, okay? And then as I stapled it, and then I just put some bungee cords on. You could do bale and twine. You could do whatever you wanted, but this works. So what I really wanted to show you guys at the end of the day is you can handle a round bale if you want. I drove in my truck. I had the gentleman that gives me the hay, sells me the hay, put it in the back, close to the back. I ratcheted it in. I drove carefully up here. I pulled the trailer out here. And I myself, as the old man that I am, 
I just push that up and let it go. There's no pallet underneath, there's no nothing. So this will last me through the winter, if everything goes as it should, this will be the last hay that I have to put out. Again, $35 a round bale. This quickly made thing took me 30 minutes to make. A cattle panel I already had laying around. Two bales of hay, $70 versus $450 with these sheep. So think about what you can do to save money any that is left over, I will scoop it up and I will put it in areas of the barn, or excuse me, in the pasture that isn't growing that well of grass. And it will just be a good carbon supplement. But when I'm done, I'll just take the rake, spread it out and be done. Anyway, thanks a lot. I thought this would be good for you guys to see. Think of always finding ways to save money. Maybe it took a little bit more effort. I don't think that it did. When you're getting square bales, you have to go and get them, put them on the trailer, strap them down, bring them back to the barn, put them in your barn, stack them back up. Then when, as I said, every day, you have to come out and put them out in the field. They eat, okay? You also have to have one of those feeders. If you have a feeder, if you don't throw it on the ground, you have to have a feeder that you have to drag around. This is sitting out here, rain, snow, sleet, or hail. I don't have to worry about my sheep having hay. It's here. This is a much easier and cheaper way. Thank you.